Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we are going to talk about tier 3 and tier 4 bows and their respective ammo within Icarus. So, this has been a well sought after video, and it takes a lot of grinding to get here, but with the new week 8 content update, it's actually a lot easier to get your uh, composites now. So, getting to that tier 4 compound bow as well as some of that ammo is actually much more achievable, but the question is. Is it truly worth it when you have a sweet little hunting rifle for only 40 titanium sitting in there? So, we're going to find out for us. So, first of all, let's talk about the bows. We've got two bows here. We've got the recurve bow. And, you know, we'll talk about um, material costs as well as we go. Because there's only a couple things here to talk about. So, we've got the tier 3 bow. We've got some steel, rope, 18 aluminum, 8 epoxy, and some steel screws. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. I, I make the recurve bow quite often when I'm playing as long as I have a machining bench available. So real cheap, you get a 50% damage boost when you use this, which is pretty nice. Then comparing it to the compound bow, 16 aluminum, 8 carbon fiber, 18 composites, and 4 steel screws. Now with the new uh, alternate recipe using platinum ore, making the composites becomes a lot easier, but there's still a heavy, heavy electronics requirement for this because you have to have a fabricator, which is now 30 instead of 60, but still that's 30 electronics here. You have to build a material processor, which is another 60. And then the electric furnace, which is another 60. So all day, just before you can even make the bow, you have to have all three of those. And that's going to cost you 150 electronics. Bah. But that doesn't stop there. What you also need to have is at least a biofuel generator. Because you have to power the things with electricity. They'll throw another 12 in there. So you've got 132 electronics all day, plus some other minor materials. But that's mainly the big issue here. So it does take quite a while. And is it worth it when you could just get a hunting rifle for 40 platinum essentially which is not that hard especially with the new update all right let's talk about ammo damages and costs so the first one here tier threes we've got aluminum i just hear a bear i think it's just the bison getting crazy over there so first of all we got the aluminum arrow we've got one copper we got four aluminum and an epoxy and even though aluminum is a one-to-one -one, that's still quite a lot of aluminum to be using for arrows it's got 72 to 80 damage 25 percent critical damage and 15 percent chance for it to break so it's not the worst thing but it's also not too bad but when you don't have a lot of aluminum this kind of hurts because you do need aluminum to make up some other things like composites next down the line we've got the carbon arrow which is quite a confusing arrow for me we'll talk about that when we get to tier four uh, 81 to 90 projectile and a 25% critical damage bonus and a 10% chance to break it costs a copper or carbon fiber and an epoxy. That's pretty expensive. Moving to tier four. Oops, went too far. It's up here. We've got the titanium arrow, which is a carbon, two screws, and one titanium ingot, which is relatively cheap, honestly. And it's 81 to 90 projectile and 25% critical. Does that sound familiar? That's the exact same as the carbon arrow. And I think four carbon fiber and an epoxy is a lot more strenuous than getting one carbon fiber, two screws, and a single titanium ingot. Because you don't use titanium for a lot after you get a hunting rifle, right? Then finally, we've got the last arrow here, which is a single composite and two steel screws. And like I said, with the new alternate recipe, this is not nearly as bad. You can use your platinum, which is a relatively useless resource in this game, especially once you're in tier four. It's just, it's, it's straight dog water. You don't need it. There's no reason to have platinum anymore, but now we do. So we've got 90 to 100 damage and a 25% critical damage bonus. So let's go look at the damages of these bows comparatively and we'll go starting from the recurve to the compound bone we'll go arrow by arrow here so first of all we'll start with the aluminum arrow let's go over to the bison over here and shoot him in the face ain't she a beaut all right let's shoot in the face and of course we've got kill cam off so we can see the damages i'm just getting a little closer to make sure we get a good headshot here oh i can't see the damage there it is 1180 so that's some good damage right there right that, that's some pretty high tier damage, honestly. And for an aluminum arrow, it's pretty cheap, right? It's not that expensive. Now, let's see the same shot with the compound bow. Let's uh, cross the water here. We got a bunch of deer to cap. Let's get a little closer, and we're going to shoot one of these in the head with our compound bow, which the difference is 50% projectile damage between them, 50% to 100%, right? 
Let's get up here, get crouched, take our shot. Don't know. I'm going to hit that rock there. Nope. Hit, hit the wheat. This thing is really accurate. There's no drop on this either. 1350. So a pretty decent boost between. But again, that'll probably kill a low level bear. It's not going to one shot a bear out here in the Riverlands, but a low level one, sure. And remember, this is talentless. Uh, we have no bow talents on this character here. So this is the, the lowest the damage can be. So let's move on to the Carbon Arrow, which is the exact same as the Titanium Arrow, but we'll still shoot them all because, you know, why not? We like to... Oh, you, you cheeky little bitch. What are you doing here? Jabby sidestep. Bam! That's what he gets for trying to mess with me during my, during my video here. Give me that arrow back. All right, let's go shoot something else. The bear is just too much because even if we get a sneak attack, it's not going to kill it and we got to deal other damage, so it's not worth our time. All right, we got a few suckers over here, so we've got our carbon arrows on. He's going to come at me here, so let's get this shot. It stopped, you piece of crap. So 1360 with the recurve. Let me come up here and grab that back. Grab this one too. All right, here's another boar coming at me here, so let's take this shot with the compound bow. 1742. That's a lot of damage. Oh, we got another one over here. So let's switch back to the recurve. And now we're going to jump over to the titanium. And we should see the same damage here. And let's see if that's true. Because it literally says it's the same. This boar is going to like really glitch out on me here. Yep. Because it's not walking on anything. It's on invisible pathing. 1317. Go compound bow. The titanium. Can I have that back? Nah, all right. That's cool. That's cool. All right, we've got a bison here. Let's shoot it when it lifts its head up. Kind of like looking down. There we go, 1755. So the damage is the same. There's no secret damage behind it. Obviously, there's that little variation because it's a range of damage. Remember that. So now we're going to check out the final damage arrow, the composite arrow, which is a really... Excuse you, I just... Oh, I must not have any inventory space. Whatever, I don't need it anyways. So we're going to take this one out and see what the best damages we can do with this on both tier bows. Obviously, if you're making composite, you should really already have a tier 4 bow. But we'll see what it looks like on the recurve as well. Guys, if you're loving this, make sure you hit that like button down below, especially if you found it helpful. And leave me a comment letting me know what you use when you're in tier 4. Do you even bother making a composite bow, composite arrows, or do you stop at titanium? Or do you say F it like I do and you just kind of make the tier 3 bow every now and then, but you mostly just rush a titanium to get a, a hunting rifle. All right, we've got the recurve bow now, and we've got a composite arrow and another boar here. Let's just get a little closer. I want to make sure we see that damage number. 1455, not bad. Now let's see it with the best bow in the game. And there's something here, but it sees me. So we'll go find another target so we can make sure we get that sneak attack bonus. All right, and our final victim the wolf so let's shoot him in the face we've got our compound bow and our best ammo the composites here let's hope i don't hit one of these branches here let's wait for him to get out here just a little bit 2072 so this will definitely kill a low level bear not a polar bear though in one shot but definitely a bear and it's pretty cheap in one sense but when you compare it to a hunting rifle is it really better when especially a bullet is only one iron and one gunpowder without any perks? Let's look at what your critical shot damage with this is going to be. If you remember it, make sure you put it down in the comments below because uh, I bet most of you don't actually know what this number is off the top of your head. All right, and we've got our final test subject here, the wolf. So let's see what the critical shot damage of the hunting rifle is just to compare end game materials with each other. 3750. That'll kill most polar bears, most bears. Uh, you're only actually it might kill all bears. I'm pretty sure that even kills a level 230 or not a 213, like 100 and like 80, 190 kind of bear, which is what or 120. 120 is what we've seen for the highest, I believe, out in this area at least. So that's the damage there for you. Leave me a comment down below, like I said, letting me know what you use for your end game ranged weapon. Do you do what I do and just make sure you grab enough titanium to smelt out 40 bars so you can make yourself the hunting rifle as soon as you get that fabricator down and then just spam a bunch of iron and gunpowder for bullets because 
doesn't take a lot, honestly. Or do you go the other route and try and be the silent killer and grab a compound bow with com with composite arrows and just snipe everything you see? Like that. I missed the shot. I'm not used to the compound bow. The thing has no drop and no drag. It's very fast arrow speed, which is nice. So, but like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about that. If you found this useful, hit that like button as well. And if you are new here, I'd appreciate you dropping that subscribe button as well. So you can get back into that sweet, shabby content. And do know, right now, we're currently still streaming Icarus every single Friday for some co-op missions. So I hope to see you there. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Do. I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.